When I started speaking in tongues, I had no spiritual gifts. None. I decided I was going to move in the gifts of the Spirit. Mm. Like I said, I said, what's in your mind will manifest. Remember somebody said, you're going to move in the direction of your most dominant thoughts. So I began to study people who moved in the gifts of the Spirit. And I began to find common behaviors. So, you work muscle groups. And then you let it rest. And then you work other groups. Give me an example of how you do that, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday is legs, Tuesday is chest, Wednesday is back, Thursday is delts, and Friday is arms. Oh, so you gotta have a plan. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> plan. <laughs> Not spontaneous. Plan. <laughs> <laughs> The reason you stuck is you ain't got no plan. Amen. You go into business, you need to have a business plan. Those who fail to plan, plan to fail. Success is a scheduled event. So are you telling me there was some days you didn't feel like lifting weights? Absolutely. So what'd you do on them days? I still wouldn't work out because I was committed to reaching a certain goal. Oh, a goal! Yeah. I pressed toward the mark. Everybody say, the goal! Go. I press. <laughs> <Right. laughs> You need resistance to rest. You asking God to take away the very thing you need to grow. Here's the problem with reaching a plateau and being stuck. If you don't break it, you will drop off. And if you don't recover, you'll drop out. Mm. Look at somebody say, plateau, plateau. Drop, off, drop off, drop off, drop out, drop out, or make a decision to progress. Make, make a decision, decision to progress. progress. So I want to know what role does pain play in your progress? Everything. No, no, you got to talk to me. <laughs> well, when you work out and you push through that resistance, it actually creates micro tears in the muscle, mm -hmm. which creates pain. But in order to receive that growth, you have to go through that pain. Oh, but I don't like pain. But your body, your body will repair itself, and you will come back stronger the next time. After you've been through that, the next time you can handle more weight, and the next time you can handle more weight, and the next time you can handle more weight. You know what I was doing to myself when okay. there was days I didn't want to pray. You know what I would do? I grabbed myself by the ears equal to prayer. You gonna pray? I don't feel like fasting. And you gonna fast. Want a microwave miracle, mm -hmm. but it may 
be a crock pot. <laughs> Everybody say it's a slow cook. It's a slow cook. <laughs> Because the issue is, will you persevere to the place of breakthrough? Mm. Do you know what? When they was trying to break the sound barrier, before they broke the sound barrier, the vehicle the person was in started to mm -hmm. shake. Mm -hmm. Like it was going to break down and it got scared and quit. Yeah. And then one day he decided, <laughs> This thing break apart, it just break apart. It's either gonna break apart. Look at somebody say, I'm either gonna break down, break down, break down, or I'm gonna break through. Break through. And it always looks like you're gonna break down before you get a breakthrough. Okay, are you ready? Here's my point. The realm you don't break through into. Is the realm you can't walk in. Mm. You know what? I still ain't told you the secret. I got it. <laughs> but you're closer. Yes. Because everything comes with a price. Yes. The question is are you willing to pay the price? But Pastor Kim, I work. Mm. Mm. When I fasted 40 days and 40 nights, I was working full time, a secular job. Mm -hmm. When I was working full time, I still was studying the work for hours. Mm -hmm. When I talk about on a Saturday, spending 12, 13 hours and gone, I was working. Mm -hmm. I was a salary employee. I ran a hospital wing. I had a people. If there was a problem, they called me. And I'll see, y'all thought this all I know how to do. I got some education. We made money. I worked for a for profit corporation. We had a contract with a hospital. Can you spell money? <laughs> my CEO, hey, you want to play? Look, my CEO said this to managers. I was a business manager. You either costing me money or you making me money. Mm -hmm. He retired at 55. Mm -hmm. And still ain't working. He had a plan. He had a plan to work 20 years. Well, I'll never forget this. I'll never forget this. There's one way they did the hospital. See you over there. The contract we had was with Blessed. He ran three units. That's one of the things he did. I ran one of the units. He says to me, Want to work for Blessed? No. He doesn't say another word. He basically telling me I'm selling the company. Mm -hmm. He loved me and his wife loved me. He's basically telling me I'm selling the company. And if you don't want to work for blessing, you need to find something else to do. <laughs> now, Peter decided he wanted to get a place in Utah and fly fish. <laughs>
<laughs> well, I can't do the same old, same old. That is correct. <laughs> you mean to tell me this has got to become a priority? Yes, sir. If you want to make progress, now if you don't want to make progress, you do what you want. But if you're serious about attaining your goals, you have to take it seriously. Do you do short-term and long-term goals? Yes, sir. Do you do you measure your progress? Yes, sir. Do you keep records? Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you create time frames? Yes, sir. Do you have to make course adjustments? Yes, sir. Does anybody hold you accountable? I hold myself accountable. Some of y'all want to be preachers and ministers. But you just want to holler about 15 minutes a day. You wonder why your ministry ain't going to work. I'm telling you why. Because if somebody hollering at God for three hours a day, four hours a day, five hours a day, six hours a day, seven hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> when I say hollering at God, I'm going to get me to work and pray me fast. And so when God's eyes look back and forth, to see you for real, he gonna say, "Oh, 50 minutes a day. Oh, okay, I can use you to. I can use you to do this." Mm. Mm. But you got to spend four hours a day with me if you want to miss. Mm. Let me tell you what. I said, mm. I said this gonna mess you up. I hope. Did you know at my church when we was in Illinois? You couldn't be a staff pastor unless you fasted 40 days and 40 nights. You had to fast 40 days and 40 nights to qualify. Where I used to fast. I don't care if you preach. Can you fast 40 days? You ain't gonna be on this staff. You ain't qualified. <laughs> And I mean, I have yet to reach up to my pastor. He would fast 75 minutes at a time. <laughs> hey, let me, listen, let me tell you what really would do to me. Really. I'd go out and preach. Come back, really would check up on me, see how I've done. And then really would talk to me and say, So, uh, you brought the dead to life yet? It don't matter when I see a deaf here, lame walking, all these other miracles. Tell me the dead that you raised. I'll say, I'll see y'all on top. All of a sudden, y'all on top. Now look at somebody say it's a whole different world. <laughs> My pastor was in Denmark. Preaching at a Bible college. Two o'clock in the morning, the pastor's wife died. Mm. <clears throat> He's with two other ministers. They wake him up, said, She died. He said, Well, why are you waking me up? Bring her back to life. Go straight to bed. <laughs> Later on, they said, We prayed. She still there. He says, Okay, gets up, washes the face, goes downstairs. Tells them, pick her up. They hold her like this. He slaps her. She comes back to life. He goes back to bed. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on back. Everybody say, I'm not the word. That's a that's some authority. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm doing? Mean? I'm sure that what's possible is that reach. I'm not even going to go for it. I can go for it. 
Everybody say plateau. Plateau. Drop off. Drop off. Drop out. Drop out. Or progress. Or progress. Everybody say pay the price of pay. Pay the price of pay. To bring into earth. To bring into earth. The will of God the Father in heaven. The will of God the Father in heaven. That's the call of prayer meeting. You don't show up. Oh, that does it. So you said it takes a while. Yes. So it's all about perseverance. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What's the now I'm, I'm also at a close. What is the role of imagination in bodybuilding? Visualization is very important. The mind plays a, a larger role to a larger extent than the workouts do. You actually have to visualize what you want to do before you do it, and you have to see your body the way you want it to be before you get there. Okay. Saturday afternoon, you begin with the in in. You be, before you begin, you have that in in. Let me somebody say it's a mind thing. It's a mind thing. It's what's in the mind of God that will manifest. It's what's in your mind that will manifest. Look at somebody say you need to check what's dominant in your mind. I remember this one guy. Do you know what would happen to him before his eyes would open? He could see through like an X-ray. He says my eyes would tingle, and then he could see through like an X-ray and describe what was going on. Literally, he could do it at the airport, not just in church. Oh, this boy was bad. And so I used to pick his brain. What did you do to get this? Look at somebody say, nothing succeeds like success. Nothing succeeds like success. Look at somebody say, find somebody who's done it. Find somebody who's done it. And find out how. And find out how. And find out how. Mm -hmm. It's more about knowledge and wisdom, actually, than it is about power. Mm -hmm. It's the knowledge and wisdom that accesses and manifest the power.
But I will never pluck up. I'm more anointed this year than I was last year. That's my life. I get more anointed every year. I ain't been to heaven just once. I've been to heaven multiple times. Why should I have one visitation from Jesus?
particularly those who attend this church. I want to pray for you first. Pray for our I mean, somebody ought to hold this camera. You'll just line it up. Yeah. 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 I want to pray for the ministers first. Straight line. Come on back. Hey. Hold the camera. Okay. Straight line. Straight line. Should I get back in the back? Get everybody or get right there? What do you want me to get? Now, you've been sitting for a while, stand to your feet. Stretch yourself. Let's all begin to take about uh, two minutes to just praise the Lord. Lift up your hands and let's praise the Lord. Amen. Your teaching is going to, for the most 
start with the principles, the principles of God's word. How to learn to take it out, give it a good one. Okay? You need to start with principles. Later on, you're going to begin to move into your presence. But that's not where you need to start. You need to start with the principles. Okay. You teach us. Okay. Um, you should stand over there. You should face me. And somebody else stand behind me. Mm. Lift up your hands. This is an impartation service. Follow the Holy Spirit as the teacher. Mm. Follow let the Holy Spirit teach this book. Inspire his thinking mm. by the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let him have insights into the Word of God he's never had before. Let him have light and illumination out of the scriptures like never before. Lord, show him how to put application to illumination and revelation, to do it in his own life, to prove it, and to minister the talk word of God to others. Comes the anointing for it. Three, two, one.
But what the enemy does with you is he projects feelings. Mm. And he was giving you the feeling. He was actually suggesting to your mind mm. that you were not growing. But I have a word from the Lord for you. Mm. You have been growing. Mm. Okay? But now this message is going to make you dressed up. Ooh. Are you hearing me? Okay, you ready? I'm going to whisper something in your ear. Y'all step back. Um, do I have any minutes? <laughs> yeah, I want this sister to fall out because of my bad brother. <laughs> I need a minute. Get time to work. Don't break the brain for real. Work for real, sir. Oh, my. 
Yeah, okay. Um, where do you go to church? Here. Was it here? Yes, sir. What's your name? Bonita. Bonita? Mike. How are you guys been going? Uh, over here. Did you use the bridge or pass or something? Yes, sir.
in good time to go mm -hmm. places at the right time. That's why I'm having a sound essentially too. Don't accept the compliment. 